Hello. So I was working on some epic history TV on Napoleon and they ruined my plans by uploading this new trailer on the upcoming movie. But I'm glad they did so. So without further ado, let's watch it. I'm not sure. I'm also not sure about Tyrant. But if they stress out that Napoleon had inner contradiction, why not? General, we are discovered. Good. Wait! Spies! Detective! Retreat! Wow, this looks good. And her is the fantasized shooting on the ice at Austerlitz and killing thousands or hundreds of Austrians. That never really happened. I'm fine with that being in the movie if it looks epic. Kids are going to be pumped up and they are going to want to know more about it. And then maybe they'll learn. And hey, Napoleon was the first one who twisted the reality of this event, so it's fine. I'm not built like other men. Generals gathered in their masses. Move along now! Those in power only see me as a brute, unfit for higher office. I think here maybe it is too long. Actually, I don't think that Napoleon disguised himself as a cowboy in order to inspect the battlefield but again Napoleon had this habit of extensively studying the battlefields especially in its early years and maybe they invented that scene in order you know to bring a big contrast with the old Napoleon at Waterloo for example where he failed to inspect the battlefield and was one of its mistakes there so Maybe. Yes. Just like witches at black masses. But I follow in the footsteps of Alexander the Great and Caesar. Evil minds at plot destruction. Yes, so he was a scholar. He knew its classic and he studied a lot about Alexander and Caesar. Actually, I believe that Caesar was a very strong inspiration for the Italian campaign. But I'm not sure about the, um, him putting, you know, his tricorn on the, um, on the mummy. If you look down, you'll see a surprise. Once you see it, you will always want it. Sorcerer of death construction. I must warn you. I will not lead a second in command. I will win by fire. I am destined for greatness. In the previous trailer, we already saw Napoleon at Marie Antoinette's beheading, and I said that I wasn't sure he was there, and actually, I don't think he was. But if I put it again here, I think it's on purpose. And my gut feeling is that they are trying to show that Napoleon sees what can happen to a ruler when he loses the support. So now is coronation. I found the crown of France in the gutter and placed it atop my own head. The Pope was there at his coronation, but he was only there to reassure the Catholics. Traditionally, the kings of France had to be crowned by the Pope. By crowning his himself, he shows he's in charge of spirituality matter and, more important, that there is nothing between him as and his people, especially not something like religion. You want to be great? You are nothing. Without me. Oh, 
I think we'll have a, a, a spicy Josephine and we'll have a lot of drama, which is good because we also need to, you know, to give some depth and some matter to the to the personality of Napoleon to humanize him. Say it. I believe I speak for all of us. We will all. Okay, so I guess here we are in Moscow. Um, with, you know, the Orthodox churches. We'll sleep again without this vermin. Whose country are we in? Okay, so what do we learn from this second trailer? So the story will obviously start in Toulon. I don't think we're going to see a lot about the Italian campaign, but you know, we can't see everything. Then we'll move on to the Egyptian campaign, and I guess this will be a big part, and there are some reasons to that. That's where Napoleon takes powers and that in some ways Napoleon becomes Napoleon. Also there, he witnesses and commits some atrocities and when he'll return to Paris, we'll have a different Napoleon, maybe like Dark Napoleon begins. So then we move on to him seizing power, being coronated, then to Austerlitz, Russia, and finally Waterloo. So I have to say, this looks more and more epic. The battle scenes look fantastic. Also, I am awaiting to see the amount of historical inaccuracy we'll see in this movie. And honestly, I think that I will have fun to see historians reacting to this. As for me, I'm expecting a piece of heart not a documentary, a representation. I'm expecting these inaccuracies and I'm okay. And honestly, if it makes a greater movie, I'm all for it. As long as we don't betray the big history. Personally, I've grown up with the likes of Braveheart, with Gladiator, with Private Ryan, with Enemy at the Gates. All of these made me want to learn more about histories, and they are full of historical inaccuracies. So I'm fine. To conclude, I'm even more pumped by this trailer. I'm really eager to see the final outcome. Uh, don't hesitate to let me know what you thought about it, and talk to you very soon. Bye bye.